everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of The Duelist. So today we're just going to jump straight into a battle. We've got a few things to do today. Hey Commander, um, pull up a chair. So we're going to go ahead and take this uh, duo duel. I was thinking about maybe running one of these guys for our second mission with the Royals. I'm uh, taking an assassination mission. This is against Clan Wolf. We might take this one against the locals. I don't know yet. We're already at a point now where two and a half, where one and a half skulls is like kind of like an average mission for us. So um, we'll just see. Maybe we take this one as the second one today. But right now, I want to go ahead and take this guy. It's a half skull mission uh, against Clan Diamond Sharks. I'm hoping to get some good salvage out of this. Now I can't remember. Yeah, we're not. We're getting. We're barely getting any cash for this. So we're going to go all in. Get as much salvage as we can. Hopefully we can pick up some stuff we can sell. Because we're going to need to make our financial report in 11 days. Alright, so we can go ahead and remove these guys. Um, load, clear. And then I believe we just have to do this. Uh, so I got the adder and vengeance up and running for the next um, Royals episode. It's not the loadout originally I planned, but it's actually not bad, so we'll worry about that later. The Spectre, I can't remember if I showed you guys the changes I made to this, but I'll show you when we get into battle. There's a couple of things that I made, uh, a couple of changes I think I made to this one between episodes, but uh, let's deploy and get this done. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. These guys aren't inexperienced, eh? Well, we'll see. We'll see how inexperienced they are. Um, am I going to try anything different today? I don't think so. This side doesn't yield us much success. So let's keep going this way. Uh, it'll be good when we're off this planet and we get a better uh, a better map to duel on. I keep hoping for the stadium map every once in a while, but I think that's probably on a, sp on a specific planet. Okay, we don't know what they are. I live to serve. Don't know what they are. The Armin brothers, though. Pack Hunter 2. And a what? A Hellion? That's like an Adder. Or Kit Fox, I mean. And you got some big ass thing in your shoulder that's just not showing up yet. It's probably an ERPPC. But it could be something Commander? big like a Gauss Rifle, so i got to be careful here. Uh, let's get up to here. See if we can get more data on them. See if we can get some more data. Yeah, it's probably a uh, ER PPC. Or it could be a heavy PPC. This guy's got a large energy build. With That's actually not a bad loadout, but we'll see what it is, actually. I can probably keep him super hot as long as he's not running a bunch of AMS. I await your command. Let's go into the trees. And you're gonna brace. Waiting for orders. Standing by. I want to try an early. Sh Let's try an early shot on these guys. We got the range, we got the speed, we got the agility and the stealth. Yeah, we got the LBX uh, PPC on this guy, the quick sell one, with a pair of flamers and a clan machine gun. So let's see how we do here. This guy's got a pair of A pods too, so we can't let him get close. But he's got no armor. Yeah, man, enjoy it. See if we can sucker them. Okay. It might be in striking. That guy's not. This guy might end up in striking distance. Oh, he's not moving. I'm here. He goes on 12, so I'm going to reserve. And let's see what he does. I know it's going to put our initiative back next turn, but if I can get a f first melee strike in on this guy. Oh, he actually spots me. And he runs right past me, through the trees, to try and get me. Dude's got some speed. That was a charge. I will be done. 
That was a charge attack. Thank you for your way. sacrifice, my friend. Thank you for your sacrifice. Let's not mess around. Let's make sure we get the kill here. Um, I should have meleeed, but this guy is giving me his back. It's going to make us nice and hot, but we'll see what happens here. Welcome to my alpha. See ya. Enemy down. As I've All said right. before, kids, melee. Don't do it. <laughs> oh, man. The failure. The failure of the attack. Uh, let's just turn this this off. I'm going to fire the SRM-6 at him, see if we can get some heat on him. Yeah, a little bit. See what he does. Now, Clan at ERPP, ERPPC doesn't have a minimum range, so... It's not like I can close and, and uh, negate his chance to hit me. Yeah, he's going to put it right up my nose, or at least try. Commander? Um... That's not the best angle to be shooting this guy at. Who do we go here? I mean, it doesn't really matter. I don't think we'll get the kill anyway because we're full of splash, right? A little bit of machine gun. The uh, PPC does splash damage. Although at this range, it might not fragment. But we're overheating too. Let's just drop the PPC then. At least that way we don't miss and hit our own guy. Copy that, Commander. Ah, sure. Might as well burn me up. Why not? System's holding. Makes me wonder if she really did uh, join our side or if <laughs> she's just like, fuck you. Every moment I get, I'm going to shoot you. Yeah, good thing I put a lot of armor on you. I'm taking internal damage. That was an arm hit, I think. I'm ready. That was an arm hit. That's fine. Yeah, physical weapon. Here it comes. You're going to play the back game. We'll play the back game with you. Here you go. Got something for you right here. Oh, man. Really? His heat's like crazy now. Standing by. All right, you. Um, can we go with a? Uh, let's go with a kick and see if we can take it. Try and take his leg. I'm gonna. Uh, do we want to? Yeah, I'll see that on. We're adding a fair bit of heat, but that's fine. We're running through flames, though. It's not. I don't think it's actually calculating the flames. Let us find out. I'm there. We're good. This guy's not going anywhere Target anyway. He's overheating. Ah, fuck. Really? All right. Twenty heat. Bet that hurts. Keep an eye on my heat, Commander. Ready for orders. Do I just go after him here? Um, ninety-one percent chance to hit. Yeah, Target do it. For physical attack. Is that a leg, arm. Crystal hit, Commander. Let's see if we can get a knockdown. Nope. Messed them up pretty good though. Solid connection on that one. Waiting for orders. Same thing. Let's leave this off so we don't uh, burn ourselves completely. Uh, yeah. Ah, <gasps> uh, for crying out loud, really? That's the myth. No flamers either, eh? Oh, we've got one flamer on. Okay. All right. Now we have the option. You. 
to try and take his legs here. Let's hit his leg. I'm going to leave the machine guns off. We'll leave the SRMs on just to keep him hot. We'll kick him. Nice damage. Oh, yeah, nice. There we go. That's a kill. Now, I think we have pack under parts, don't we? Mission successful. Let's see how long it takes to fix our max, because maybe we just take that uh, the assassinate mission now. Because I don't think we really took a lot of damage in the arm. I think it's just the uh, internal hit. All right, salvage. Pack under parts. Hellion E. Ice Hellion. So just kind of a mislinks chassis. All right. We're not going to bother with that. Pack Hunter 2, do we have... I don't think we have these specific parts. AP Goss Rifles. Ooh. Um, that's what I'm really looking for. But the ERPPC is there. The Clan uh, Guardian. A ammo Mag Shot. So we'd have to keep our fingers crossed and hope we get the Mag Shot ammo if we take that. But these would be really nice for um, replacing machine guns with. Recoil of one. Three small projectiles. Plus ten against battle armor. I, mean, I don't know if it's that much better than machine guns. 390 meters. Not too bad. 50% crit though. Damage fall off. Hmm. 18 damage. It's probably a little bit more than machine guns. <sighs> Medium heavy lasers. ERPPC is nice. A light engine. Hmm. We don't have any clan double heat sinks either. What am I going to end up using? That's the question. Got lots of endo and stuff. Medium. Oh, they got four clan flamers. That opens up a huge amount of possibilities for a build. I remember back to our overheater mech that we had at, that, at one time. I think it was a Shadowhawk that we had. Like a long time ago. Like over a year ago. And it was like. Like all flamers and SRM. I think we had SRM with Inferno ammo and stuff. I can't remember everything we had on it. But that's an odd. This is like. The weight is like half ton too, right? Evasion ignore. Or, yeah. A little bit better chance to hit battle armor. But it's got to be close. I'm going to grab those. Because unless we get the ammo for these, they're useless. They'll just be sitting in storage. The ERPPC will be sitting in storage. We have plenty of other chances to get it later on. Medium heavy lasers, I'm sure we'll get plenty of chances to get these later on. Right now, they're, they're not going to fit into any of my builds just because of heat restrictions. Right? The light engine maybe will fit into something. Maybe. It's going to cost us money, which we don't have right now. These we could probably use, but we don't necessarily need them immediately. But these I can definitely build something with. So let's go that route. Helion, Pack Hunter 2 part. Okay, we got the AP Goss Rifles. That's a bonus. Clan Endo Steel, which I think I'll just go ahead and sell that one because we need money. Clan Pharaoh I'll definitely keep. And the Clan Mask I'm going to go ahead and sell because of my... Uh, uh, me forgetting to turn them on and off. And plus this thing's worth 2.1 million. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get our financial report almost completed here. All right, not, not too bad. Okay, four days to repair, which isn't bad. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's just get repaired. And then we're going to go take that other mission. Because I think the Royal sh should be, like, unless we get pasted somehow. Um, oh, yeah, we'll let him. Uh, no. Mm. If we let him go, he's probably going to get injured, but he might game, gain athletics. Um, yeah, let's, yeah, okay. Oh, he gained high spirit and athletic. That's awesome. Beautiful. Plus one pilot health. Yeah, that's always one of the best, um, 
best encounters. You're just risking the pilot getting injur injured. But he didn't, which is great. Our morale is actually not too, not too bad, 18. So, yeah, that worked out for us. Great. And he's still available to fight, which is awesome. All right, one more day. Okay, perfect. Now, um, let's go to the command center. Cause I got an idea for this one. We're going to take the one for Clan Wolf against the local government propagandist. So we'll take this, but we're going to bring in... Going to go uh, Mac. We need to make our financial report still. So do we want to go Max? It's local government, so what are we expecting to see here? We want to go sea bills And then when I do the royals, I don't have to worry about going for money. I can go for salvage. Because then we can go against... There's a mission against Clan, against Clan Wolf. We're gaining three points here. There's another one that's like this one that's taking two points off. So we're still advancing. Let's go this route against the local government, and then we'll go all full salvage against Clan Wolf. Okay, so we're going to take these two as the primaries. And then the Sentinel has got Thunderbolt 2-pack, the large chem lasers, and the Ultra 2. So we're going to take the Sentinel um, with Smirk, right? Yeah. For the ranged. The Adder we haven't seen yet. We'll see that in the next one. The Wavern... Did I do anything related to this guy? The LRM-15. Large pulse, right? One-shot thumper is in here now. Oh, pair of LRM-15s. Right. So let's bring the Wavern in uh, as well. Because I want the long-range fire support. Because what my, my intention is, is I'm going to try and have these two guys kill the propagandist. Well, these guys just stand back and do fire support. They're not going to really engage. So I want to see if I can get these two to do most of the fighting. And these guys are just coming in as backup. So we'll bring the Hunter and the Zoria, I think, both of them at the same time. We might as well. Um, and who's doing what here? Who's on? i got to remember who's what. So you're in... Thunder's in the Hunter. Wait. Um, Ren was in the Hunter. And let's put Thunder in the Zoria. And let's do this thing. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. Um, so they're pretty much side by each down here. So my goal will be to I feel a tremor, like there's creatures living beneath the surface. Yeah, there is. Can we get the hill? We can get the hill. Do I want the hill? So they're in the kind of caldera here, and I don't think they're going to be getting reinforcements. Yeah, I don't think they're getting reinforcements. So let's... I want to I'll try to approach this so that the duelists go after the main guy, and the rest of the lance is just... the rest of the lance targets this guy. Um, we want to start close. I mean, we could start up on the hill and come down on them. That just gives them a better chance to shoot at us, though. I can't actually deploy here, though. We can barely deploy here. Well, you know what? This makes the fight quicker. So let's just drop in here. Can we get on top of the mineral field? Not all of us. The two main guys we don't care about, but the rest of the unit... We can't get on there either. Alright, that's the Wavern Sentinel. Can we get the vehicles? We can't. That's fine. Let's put them back as far as we can. I want to get them into the mineral field if I can early on. Okay, what do we got over here? A Locust 2 Stinger. Wow, really? One and a half skull? I mean, hopefully they got better supporting units, but um, we'll find out. Oh, they got a guy back here too. Blackjack. Is that an OD? Yeah, that's an, that's an Omnijack. Omnijack! Um... 
We're gonna have garbage chance to hit, so let's just kind of move into here. Move into here, do some fire support. So that's the guy we're going after, a Valiant, eh? He's already got, ah, uh, really, he's like got such garbage. And a Vindicator quick sell, ultralight rotary auto cannons, or rotary rifles. Three of them. So this guy can't get close to us. All right, fair enough. Uh, what do we got in this? Garbage, garbage. We're not going to be able to follow up a backstrike on that guy. And while I could shoot him, that's not why we're here. So let's target this guy. We've got like no heat increase, like almost none with this loadout, which is super nice. All right, firing. firing. Yeah, bitch, we're here. Commander. I mean, it doesn't help that we're standing in a mineral field either, but let's go to here. Copy that. Same idea. I think we take on the locust again. How are you there? 10%. 8%. 10%. We've already damaged the Locust. It's slightly lower, but I'm taking a shot. Firing at enemy six. If we get lucky and hit him. Ah, oh, well. Never mind. Damn it. Can't get that lucky. we got two vehicles we can pull into here to block them from being shot directly by these guys that we can target this guy with. Oh, we got one of the two that we can before he moves. These two guys are going this way. Right into the field of fire, it looks like. At least if it's just these two taking damage this battle, then uh, before the end of the month, we, if we can get these guys back, then we can do another mission. That looks like a shield. Is that a shield? I guess if it's called Valiant, it probably is. I'm receiving you. Hey, buddy. Um... We're here to fuck you up. You're not allowed to be here anymore. All right, uh, let's not make it hot. And we'll just fire these, just so that we can actually get to uh, a range where we can do melee damage here. Yeah, add the heat. Slow him down so we can just run his ass down and chop him into pieces. Who's going now? Oh, 14? No, we got a guy on... Oh yeah, we're on 14 too. Never mind. You better have more than a medium laser. What's up, boss? What's up, yo? There was a green... Oh, it's up back here, eh? Okay. Aye, aye. You guys are fire support anyway, so I don't really care if you're just sitting back here shooting. Locked on. Rear armor. Nothing. That's fine. That's fine. We didn't need to hit him. <laughs> we didn't need to get that kill. It's not like he's going to kill us. Although you never know. Three energy. Yeah, bring it in. Get a little closer so we can smoke your ass real fast. Tag pair of medium lasers. Okay. Maybe the vehicles can just toast that guy. Standing by. All right, China, let's get up here. Rolling. Just want to get to melee range, but not into a position that this guy can actually see us right away. Um, scrambling sensors or overheating. I still want to be able to move next turn. Let's just go with the sensor scramble. Alright, got a little bit on him. Not bad. A little bit of impairment to the sensors. We'll take that. Yeah, that PPC is so bizarre, but... Whatever works for you, I guess. Yeah, he's not doing anything. He's got to get within range. Those light rotaries... I think the damage is like 15 points per. But if he winds them all up, he's got like 18 shots, so... Blackjack with a peep. Waiting on you, Commander. Blackjack with a peep. Um, 
Let's turn this right Wait, facing towards the guys over there. And we'll shoot the locust. 20%? It's 50 on this guy, really? Well, let's take the better shot. I mean, that's significantly better, so... Start to soften him up a bit. I'm fucking the camera up again, I know. Leave me alone. Um, who we got going first? Oh, this guy. This guy goes for... No. Dragon's on 17. Oh, it's the locust. Mm-hmm. He knows who he has to defend. So at least he's got that going for him. Orders. Let's get to the, uh... The Sentinel engaging that guy up on the hill. Just gonna move into here. Lousy chances to hit, but we're gonna fire at him. Alright. Ooh, the ultra hit. Nice. Commander? We got the melee. We got the tools. I'm gonna attack him from the front. We got the talent. Let's Onward. make it happen, people. Put my weight into it. Damn it! I wonder if this guy's got any kind of melee stuff. Yeah. Alright, seven heat. No head hit. Whatever, we'll see what happens. At least he doesn't have the, the range to charge at me. And I don't think this guy's really fast enough to get around. That's the big fear I have right now, is getting hit by a charge attack. Anything but a charge attack. Where are you going? Alright, that's an interesting choice, but gonna give us your back, we'll take it. Although that gives us that gives this guy our back. Ready for orders. Your target, should you choose to accept it, is right here. Um yeah, we'll fire it all. Firing. Got some good loadouts, but we gotta get better chances to hit. Once we get some targeting computers, that's gonna make all the difference, but I'm having an impossible time finding them. And the, the uh, of course you're gonna melee. And it's a miss, nice. Now the question is, do I want to capitalize on that with a... Uh, let's Let's punish him for the choice. I was going to shoot the locust, but I think we punished this guy for his choice in life. Target confirmed. Make him reevaluate re his life choices. We got the Zoya left too, so that's who we're going to target. Oh, plus the Spectre's got to go still. Although the Spectre's got to stay in the Wavern. We're going to use the, uh, the Flamers. Wow, that's like almost not even worth having those on there. <laughs> now laugh at your puny attack. One damage per hit. You're better off loading yourself down with some fucking machine guns. What the hell? <laughs> they probably have less of a chance to jam. Who are you shooting at? Oh, Hunter. That's just gonna put you in fucking pain zone for that sentinel. Waiting for orders. Okay, we're gonna come on to this side of you. We're gonna kick you. And we're gonna put these on. Nah, I think I want to get some a lot of salvage off this guy, so let's go ahead and just kick him with the flamers. Try to minimize the amount of damage we do uh, to anything but the leg. Fuck. You're zero for three now, girl. Three melee attacks this game and a whole lot of nothing. I want you to punish the stinger. Let's go with the slug, see if we can get a heavy hit on him. Nice hit. There's the knockdown. Want some Melee is such a fucking gamble in this done. game. OK, 
Can I? I can't get to that side of you. Eh? You're like protecting your side really, really well. I mean, I could do this, but then they got a back shot on me, right? That's still a possibility for a back shot, so I'd have to run that or jump. I can't get to where I want to go, though. I want to go to here. Although we could get to this side. We got enough to protect our back. Because we're up against that wall. Lifting off. So we'll do this. I know we're shooting through this guy. We might hit our own guy, but... Vigilance to drop all that stuff. And then I think we just shoot him. I'm going to leave the medium heavy off because she can't take a hit like that. Well, it's only 30 damage, though. Because they're both in the trees, right? That's a lot of heat. That's still a shit ton of heat. That's a bit more respectable. Let's go this route. Okay, we pushed him over the red line. Nice. He's not standing in fire, though, but hopefully he'll move through fire. Yeah, I feel pretty good about that move. That's the Valiant backing up. He's trying to drop some heat. Okay, good. Commander? You're gonna put your back to the wall right here. Get our stability back. And I think we just go... This route. Target locked. Okay, keep him overheated. Beautiful. Receiving you. All right, dragon. Let's um, see if we can't finish this locust. Ah, it's just a lousy chance to hit, man. That's marginally better. On it. I want to reveal myself a little bit so this guy's got another target to shoot for. Yeah, let's see if we can get this guy. I'm going to fire it all. I know we're getting a little warm here, but that's fine. Yes. Screw you. He's got ER mediums. All right. He's probably going before. He's going on 12. It's not bad. Do I want to get Smirk on him, though? No, I think we got to keep Smirk on the Blackjack. He's still loving this hunter. But he's basically almost given us his back. Yes, Commander. He has. He has gone ahead and given Maximum us his back. Speed. So if we don't get a really good chance to hit her on his back, we're going to shoot this guy. Because I don't think we're going to get another shot at this. Yeah, it's garbage. Let's just finish this guy off. Engaging. That way I don't have to use my vehicles on him. I can go after the, um, the locust with the vehicles. Sentinel's got some good speed and some good firepower now. I'm, I'm actually really liking the loadout. The chem lasers keep it nice and cool, but offer a nice heavy punch. And the Ultra 2 gives us the range. I mean, it's not the best loadout. I hear you. But it's actually not bad. Just keep moving fast. Kind of get a direct shot in the low. Wow, that's terrible. Can we get... Oh, wait. That's a little better. Marginally better. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. We'll see whatever the best... We're going to target whoever the easiest person is here. So 22, 30, and 13. We're going to go after this guy. Switch up to cluster. All weapons are go. Get as much damage as we can. I know I said we're going to go after the locust, but we might as well try to apply as much damage as we can. So, where, where are we at now? 10. Who's going on 10? Oh, the, uh, Vindicator. Order. Yeah, I bet you he's, like, almost, I bet you almost all of his weapons are jammed, I bet. Okay, we got a good solid blue line there. We'll take that. 
You still got lots of armor on this guy, so I'm not worried about where he's positioned. Ooh, 24. Affirmative. Vindicator. Taking it. Alright, handful of hits. It's fine. Let's just keep yep, his head man. down. Alright, you, you bastard. You've got to go away. As much as I want to axe you, I think we do the kick attack. That's... Mm, uh, so much splash is going to go p uh, get past them, probably hit our own guy, but... I'm your spaniel. Let's see if we can get the leg. Okay, good hit in the leg. Unsteady. We hit our own guy a little bit, I think. Oh, I like that shot. <laughs> Look at all the fire. Oh, man. At least he's laser build, so he's, it's like... It's... He's like, I don't know if I can shoot now. He's running. Where did he run to, though? Over here. So that's good Red news forward. for us. Uh, let's move you to here. You have to ignore that guy. We're going to go shoot the uh, guy up on the hill here. Let's turn the ER large off for this turn. Just fire the rest. Drop all our heat. I mean, we didn't have the best chance to hit anyway, but... No point in adding the extra heat if we don't have to. Now we have maneuverability so we can get over here and attack these guys. Spectre's going to come here and kick this guy. It's opening up for a flank shot from these guys, but I think we'll be fine. Let's find out what... I think Peep Boy is going to shoot, start shooting the vehicles again. I don't know why he sees the vehicles as more... Maybe... Uh, I don't know. Like He can't have a better chance to hit the vehicles at that distance than he can the mechs. So I don't know why he's decided to target the vehicles. Like, it's happening a lot now where it's the AI just decides to target the vehicles, so it's a good choice of you having them along. But maybe the rule should be if you lose a vehicle, it's, it's automatically gone. I don't know. Because all you need is a vehicle with lots of armor to just become a tank and a sponge, right? Just to, like, draw fire. Standing by. Okay, you should be able to... Kick this guy. Leave the flamers on. I'm not going to go with this because of the heat. We want to keep him nice and nice and uh, overheated here. Rolling. So we're kicking the opposite leg, but it keeps us safe. Targeting for physical attack. Ah, pff, come on, zero for four. Burn him. That's a miss. That is a miss. So's that. It looks like. Negative damage. Repeat. Negative damage. I'm questioning whether or not you want to be here. That's what I'm questioning. Yeah, love, loving the hunter. And he's hitting the hunter a fair bit. Losing armor. Yeah. Waiting for orders. He's got to have good um, targeting computer stuff on him. That Thunderbolt pack has got a 46% chance to hit now. I can't not use it. I think that's the best we're going to get. What's up, yo? Ah, damn, it's a miss. Only one hit, too. Okay. How badly damaged are you now? It's the side they're hitting. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not convinced about the... Um, the angle that you're shooting the vehicle at. Because if you look at my angle here, right? And well, I guess he's like shooting almost from the front, but he's hitting this side over here instead of this side. So I don't know. Orders. Let's just do this. Position confirmed. So they can't see us directly, but we might as well just lob some stuff down on somebody here. So point nine, point nine. Point nine. Well, you're the closest, so you get Jump the you get the point nine attack. No luck. This should focus them Waiting to uh, you, switch their targets now. Okay, let's get over here. 
I gotta be careful though, the Zoria can't take too many frontal hits. That's a pretty good chance to hit. Not that great. We'll take this shot here. Firing. Soften you up a little bit. You're gonna be dueling with the Ah, he's not going anywhere. He's not going anywhere. Unless he's got like the out point like really close by. Oh he's got he's falling. That's it for you, buddy. It's game over now. Yeah, he's got a little ways to go. Standing by. Um, okay. Standing by. Smirk first. Yeah, we're just inside the minimum range. There we go. Beautiful. Position confirmed. This guy needs a targeting computer, the worst. Like, he just really needs a targeting computer, because that's just lousy chances to hit. We're going to fire, though. See what we got. He's got one PPC, eh? And a large Exostar. That's a really hot loadout. Roger that. Ah, damn it, we missed with him. All right. Lasers hit, though. I'm out of LRM. That's all right. I'm your Spaniel. Are you? On the way. Double time. All right, get over here. Let's keep it cool. That. Uh, let's use... Oh, man, the heat. I'm okay with the heat, though. Firing. Let's try and get that leg. Or we just shoot everywhere else. That works, too. Solid connection on that one. That works, too. Okay, we're just going to vigilance you. Um, calculating sprinting. Oh, I see. It's still trying to calculate how far you can move. Yeah, right there. Going to use the PPC. Or do we need to? We do. Where do we go with everything? Let's shoot it all. Shoot the works. Really? Well, at least he's panicking. Standing by. R E L spells Ren, and I'm raw. Let's kill this guy. If we can. 24%. Let's, we might as well fire the thumper, because we're not going to get another chance to use it, I don't think. We're getting too close to the enemy, so. Alright. Landed. Yeah, fuck you, buddy. Bail out. Ah, I thought he was going to bail. At least that thumper hit. Totally worth it at that point. I should be able to bring the hunter around behind him now, like pull the hunter up over here, wherever this guy goes, and just blast him. Move the Zoria back over here again. Oh, he's coming in. Moving in, are you? This guy's fighting. I'll give that to him. I wouldn't be surprised if the Vindicator tries to melee. That guy is so hot right now. He's like Hansel. He's just so hot right now. I hear ya. Okay. Uh huh. Let's see if we can sacrifice this guy. Alpha strike. See ya. And stay down. Their numbers seem to be growing thin. Yeah, 15 damage with those. Wow, that was bad. Not exactly sure why it was doing you. one before, though. Like it would do one, one, one. I think we just sit here. I don't think we have to move. 12%. 14. I'll take that shot. Engaging with target. Eh, a couple of hits. Okay, who's up? Waiting for order. You gotta move. So let's get over here. See if we can put one in his leg. Or do we just burn him? Let's not go too much. 
try and get that leg. Ah, uh, so critical hit, Commander. It's so iffy. Ready for orders. There we go. Getting okay, the better chances to hit now. I see you. XL boys, don't run them. Hostile removed. That's what you get. That's an omni. He doesn't have a choice. All right, vindicator. He must have so much recoil, like the amount of Reporting. recoil. Structural damage. Receiving you. That's on that guy right now. It's got to be like astronomical. He's trying to get at least one kill out of this. I, I totally get it, but the amount of recoil must just be insane at this point. Putting one in the back. Putting a whole bunch in the back is what you're doing. I'm here. We still haven't got the leg. Oh, I could just melee him. Oh, God. I want to get salvage from this guy. I don't want to blow him up. Like, if we go up to that leg with, let's say, just a medium heavy, 92% chance to hit. We won't take the leg, though. Good hit. Good leg hit. That's going to at least give us the opportunity to kill this guy. He's still going to try and run. Yeah. Okay, we've got a much better chance to kill this guy now. All right. Good to go. Feeling good about that. Let's back up. Even though that, even though those uh, rotaries don't do a lot of damage, Affirmative. they can still kill this vehicle because it doesn't have a lot of armor. So. Good to go. Hey. Ready for orders. Attack. Attack. Firing on target. Yeah. Waiting for orders. Okay. Um. We got a sprint. Side Hang shot. Full speed. Uh, we gotta be able to keep up with them. I'm just gonna shoot his side. Okay, a couple hits in the leg. Reporting critical hit. Good to go. Um, there we go. Affirmative. We got the range. Might as well use it. Engaging. Start. Okay, one hit. Not bad. Ready for orders. Dragon Ball Z. Um, let's go side strike as well. Confirmed. I could shoot him in the back, but I think we can maximize salvage if we just, like, take down one side. Let's drop all our heat. Maybe we can get him to, like, panic and bail out. Reporting. Critical hit. He's very unstable. Oh, shit. That was fast. We're fucking around, man. He's going to get... Holy shit. He's going to get out. Um, that's a hell of a lot faster than I thought he would have been. Shit, shit, shit. We got to take a leg. If we don't take a leg, he's out of here. And I can't get a side shot. You got to go with everything. Oh, that may have got the leg. Oh, not quite enough. That hit something good. My heat gauge is good. Waiting for orders. You guys can't shoot him though. Firing on target. Not your job. 
Not your Great job. Hit, Commander. Hopefully he doesn't go first next turn. Damn. Commander. I think I miscalculated. I didn't think he had that kind of speed. Putting one in the back. At least the guy's in fire. Alright. Hit him hard now. Oh shit. Receiving you. <sighs> He's gonna get away. <laughs> It's not a damn thing I can do about it. Let's at least kill this guy. Ready for orders. I don't have. I, there's no way to target him. There's no way to target him. I can't do it. <laughs> no. Ah, I fucked around trying to destroy his leg. I messed around trying to destroy his leg. I should have just, just, I should have just killed him. That's a major failure on my part. Ready to get it on. Alright, don't miss this I shot. Copy. We gotta at least kill this guy. Apply damage. Roger. Really? This guy's gonna survive too. Commander? Guy is going to survive too. Got it. Unless we get real lucky, he's going to survive. Commencing alpha strike. Critical hit, Commander. Standing by. You're our only hope. I think the PPC's got like a minimum range too. Yeah. We gotta, I gotta come, I gotta do it from behind. If I do a side shot, I can't hit the other leg. I gotta take both legs. So we just gotta hope that the scatter shot does it. Otherwise he's out of here. Nope. Damn it. What? My feet. Too hot. Gotta shut down. They should make it so that if you're in the actual extraction point, when the enemy's in the extraction point, they can't call in a, uh... What the hell is that? Oh, his, his mech grenade. Yes, Commander. Yeah, they should make it so that if you're in the extraction point, um... When the, uh, thing... The, um... My way. Dropship is supposed to land, that, um... It can't land. At least that way you've got a chance to at least kill him. But, I mean, I had plenty of chances. It's my own fault that I didn't kill him. I copy. Nope, this guy gets away too. Damn it. Did some heavy damage. Well, there's a failure. Oh, wait. I await your command. Is that actually... Is that the actual case? Like, can he not get away now? Or does he have to be there for a certain number of turns? I wonder if he needs to get... Ooh, I don't know. I'm worried about killing this guy now. If I kill this guy, it may mean that this guy, the other guy gets to escape. I don't know what the rule is now. I don't know what the rule is. I'm gonna have to like, fudge my turn here. What's up boss? To hope that, um, that that's the actual case. Like, I don't think he needs to be. Waiting for orders. Moving to position. I don't know. Waiting Maybe he forward. needed to be there for X number of turns or something? On my way. What are you up to? 
Where is he going? Um... What just happened? It sounded like he ha Okay. That speed that he had... Maybe he had a mask. Because when I first saw him move that fast, I'm like, oh, maybe he has a mask. Which would make sense. So, he ran up there. I ran into the hex with him, which means he probably couldn't get away. He stood there, panicked for a second. Didn't turn his mask off. Tried to run away. Damaged both his legs and died. That's the only thing I can think of. That's the only thing I can think of. I don't know. I don't know what just happened. Locking in coordinates. I don't know what just happened. But uh, what I do know is I want this guy gone. Firing on target. So we're gonna make him dead. Ready for orders. Can we make this guy dead, please? On my way. Can we make him dead, please? We took way more damage than I wanted to in this match. Man, this thing can take damage. Target's taking a critical hit. He's still alive, though, ain't he? Commander? Uh, Zoria can't move. We'll get ourselves killed. Roger, Commander. I've got the shot. Commander? So... Uh, so, she just like, walk back over here, look at me. There's that pause for the second where it's like, uh, yeah, I got him. <laughs> I live to serve. Yeah, yeah, I totally got him. That was all me, just, just in case you're I'm wondering. Thanks for helping out, by the way. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. That's totally what i do with my friends. If, if, if I knew the guy, I'd be like, oh yeah, no, I totally got him. He's gone. That was all me. <laughs> Damage minimum. Oh, he solid shotted it. All right. Standing by. All right, Ren. Let's just hammer him. This guy's been around long enough. Might as well hit my own guy at the same time. I think I hit something good. I'm ready. Get back to help out. Got it, Commander. Yeah, that's um very confusing Wait, as to why it. that. Yeah, I'm not gonna fire the PPC at that range. Definitely gonna hit my own guys if I do that. Yeah, I don't know. That's the only thing I can think of is maybe he had that mask, and it was like it just failed on him. You Roger know. That. And it, but, yeah, we must have done just enough damage to the legs to turn pri like prior. Sure, hit all. Okay, never mind. I'll just stay quiet now. Enemy dead. I was gonna say sure, hit all the armor we haven't hit yet, but never mind. Good job. Mission successful. Yeah, so I guess sitting in the extraction point is enough to not get them to extract. I don't. I don't think I've ever had that happen. Like I've, I've, I've lost missions before where they've, where the convoy has gotten to the extraction point, and it's always on really low, like low scale battles. And they just, you just have a fast convoy, and there's nothing, nothing you can do about it, right? But not in this case. That was, that was interesting. All right, Wavern did take some damage. We're not going to be back fully for the end, before the end of the month but we did make enough for our financial reports I'm not worried about that now um, a full Valiant 30 tons prototype Valiant trades out the mask and hatchet for shield and vibro blade well if that doesn't scream secondary mech for the melee lance I don't know what does I mean we're dropping 5 tons but still it's like Do I just grab that? There's a full Vindicator quick sell too as well. Light PPC, two Bright Broom lasers. 
regular tag, ultra light rotary rifle. It's 20 damage at two tons. That seems excessive, although minus 25 damage versus armor. One per shot above two. Yeah, so if you shoot six rounds, you've got four recoil and then 18% chance to jam. Weapon can jam for 20 damage per shot loaded when destroyed. So if you have six rounds, if you're firing six rounds at a time, it'll go off for 120 damage. That's kind of uh, nasty. Ooh, Battle Fists. Ooh, okay. The Valiant, while interesting... Do we have a Vibra Sword down here? No, just the Combat Shield. This is not bad either. XL Gyro. Impact Resistant. 30% Reduced Punch Attack. So that's like making you resistant to melee. Lower melee weapon, quantity 2. Plus 1 actually for physical melee attack. Increases maximum carry weight by 10%. Oh, there's so much good stuff here. Omni Jammer. Eh. Probe King. Searchlight. Upper Spiked. Reduced melee damage taken. Increased. That's all for charging, though. It's all for charging. There's the Vibro Sword. We need two hands, I believe, to use this, right? Handheld weapon or injury armored and cannot be destroyed. Hmm. 35 damage when used for physical attack. Plus two accuracy when used for physical attack. So... This is technically for the duelist, so I should probably go with... Um, God, there's so much good stuff here. Oh, That is so good, though. Do we take the combat shield though and drop the um, vibro sword? It increases our visibility and signature, but we're already like super stealth, so we're okay. Like that's going to be for the axe. I know we've got. Um, maybe, we, maybe we drop the machine guns. Lose the ammo so we don't have to worry about case. Put this in to def as a defense and maybe up our laser game a bit. Although the battle fists too, right? Like... Punch it. Like this would be good for the um, sentinel. Or not the sentinel. Um... Spectre. All right, I'm going to do what I've done in the past and hope that that shows up. Grab the battle fists. I think that's probably, for melee-wise... Fuck, there's a hot seat cockpit, too. Oh, man. Ah, shit. We dropped that. Where's the hot seat cockpit? Oh, it's so painful to have to leave so much behind in the battlefield. Although, here's the here's the thing. Do we take the Valiant and hope we get all of this stuff? Like, most likely it's going to be wrecked. But, question, would this... 
Vibra Sword and Shield are probably integral. But I don't know how much of this other stuff... Like, is this added on or is this inherent in the mech? If it's inherent in the mech, then we're sacrificing it to go into the Hatchetman. But if it's not, and, it, and it, it's a whole lot of ifs. If, 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 if. At least this way I know I could upgrade the uh, Hatchetman right away. Make him super tanky, right? Give him a lot, like a really, really great chance to hit. And then even more chance to hit, more damage. So let's go this route. I mean, this is, I think, probably the best way to go. For me, anyway. All right, two Locust parts and a Vindicator part. Small laser Exostar, which we'll hang on to. The light rotary, light, Archer light rotary rifle, I'll probably hang on to it. Duralast quick sell. Reduce damage at the cost of what? 20% armor weight. Yeah, maybe we use that later. The 210 core we definitely keep. Omni Jammer ECM. One ton. Jams everyone within 150 meters. So I'm assuming it also jams your allies. I, I would imagine, because like, it doesn't say jams enemies. I'm, I think I'm just going to sell that. I'm, I, I, oh, we got rotary rifle ammo too. I'm uh, just hesitant to use that. All right, so yeah, this actually is actually a possibility on something. It's like two tons, three tons for the possibility of damage. I don't know. We'll see. Let's just take this stuff. All right, 42,000. That's not too bad. 12 days for repairs, although it might be a lot less, depending if we can manage tasks or not. No, Wavering's 12 days. All right, well, that was good, though. I mean can't knock that we do have our financial report which is fine and I'm gonna roll forward one day here and we're gonna go ahead and look at the hatchetman um, because I mean yeah we've got some good options now uh, let's refit you now I don't have to worry so much about getting in close to the enemy and having them charging me and and melee me and all that kind of stuff Oh, we got the chameleon LPS in here. That's why we can't switch out the armor if we want to stay stealthy. Do we care, though, if, if we're stealthy? If we're, like, completely, like, super protected. We pull those out for now. Um, let's just play a build real quick here. So if we go impact resistant instead of stealth, right? Let's go with... If we've got the... Uh, once we get the sea bills. Yeah, that's going to open up a huge like, possibility right there. So, um, we've got a battle fist in this hand already. Let's go ahead and grab the... Where is it here? Weapon melee. There. Right? Can, would this... I guess it only works for the arm that the melee weapon's on. I would imagine. Hot seat cockpit, I think, goes without saying. We got like four tons left. So, I mean, weapons. How many laser points do we have? We just have the two, right? Hmm. What's our sinking at right now? Yeah, not bad. How much heat do you do? 12. Put the medium improved in because we have better chance to hit with those. Okay, so that's still got a lot of weight left. Um, do we have half an extra half ton of Inferno ammo? Because I was wondering, if we've got another SRM, we may want to go... Yeah, we do. Ooh. 
can take this case out. Heat efficiency is garbage though. Do we want to remove the jump jets? Hmm. Does it matter if it's still the same weight? Still the same weight decrease. And we don't have any kind of ECM either. So we're certainly open to attack. We'll at least be able to max, well, we could max our armor out. We really need to get another heat sink in here though, I think. Oh, what I wouldn't give for an exchanger right about now. How much do these weigh? Half a ton? Yeah, it's as long as we don't lose our arm. And in the desert we're in right now, it's just going to make things worse. Oh, man. Um, 40 damage, 26 heat, 1 ton. I don't know what else we could... Re that could be better than that, though. The heat, though, is just murdering us. I mean, I guess we could drop the 6 for a 2. Go with SRM 8. That'll give us a couple of tons. At which point we can go ahead and add... Uh, what are we? Clan double heat sink kit? Which we don't have any clan double heat sinks. We could go... Uh, that's a quick cell heat sink kit. That's all we got is clan double heat sink kits? Really? Really? So I can't add any heat sinks. I mean, 60-64 is not bad. Plus 15%, though, it would be overheating pretty quickly. We just cycle one of these on and off, though. I think that's all we'll do. we still got three tons, though. What would we do with three tons? Probably leave the SRM-6 in. Since we can't do anything else, right? I mean, yeah, we'll be overweight, but... I want to leave the machine guns out, I think. Or do I? We have... We don't have a half ton of ammo, I don't think. Of MG ammo. We do. Oh, heavy machine gun ammo. Hmm. Or do we want to go this route? Like, put the ultralight rotary rifle in there. Pull the SRM2, maybe. Or maybe not. Maybe we don't need to. Go that route. Wait, what are we? Out of room? No, we're not out of room. Oh, this needs to be in the location. as The same location as the weapon. Or maybe we could just stack up this torso. As scary as it sounds. I hate dropping back armor, but... Heat sinking is garbage. It'll be even worse when we rack that... Or wind that rotary rifle up. But it is adding, like, instability damage. Six per hit. Uh, I don't know. There's so many things we can do with this thing now. That's the thing, right? Um, let's see if we've got a better... I mean, we could put the advanced fire control system in here to get better... Um, less jam chance. More OP accuracy. We lose the night vision, but it might be worth it. Or we could technically, I mean, we could go with the enhanced imaging. No, but we lose the, um, 
I think we lose the hot seat. Yeah, we do. Yeah, that we lose the whole upper half with this. So it's either one or the other. I think the hot seat cockpit for the melee mech. I think that just that just goes without saying, I think. But maybe we go this route. SLDF is giving us what? Just night vision? Yeah. Man, we really need, like, headgear. Compact life support. Nah, it's not really worth it. The life support is destroyed. The pilot will suffer overheat damage. Critical hits are linked to life support. Pilot injured on overheat. Yeah, we don't want that to happen. Okay, well, I don't know. I think we're probably better off staying with the uh, Inferno. You know. The rotary rifle, while interesting, is only really giving us a little bit of instability damage. This way, we at least we get Inferno damage. We can heat it up. And then we got one, one ton left. We can eventually get a uh, heat sink. We could drop a heat sink in, which will definitely help with the heat. But until then, we'll have to cycle one of the medium improved lasers on and off. What do we do with one ton then? Actually, you know what? Uh, do I want to add more ammo? So 12 into 100 goes like 8 times. 8 turns of firing. Right now, it's that's probably more than enough. Especially for the duels we've been getting into. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe that's probably the way we go here. I mean, we could drop the two laser insulators in and hope we don't lose them. But I would rather hold on to these for when we when we have really big lasers in something. You know, and then not hopefully we don't lose them in a fight. Cuz we're like once we lose these, we're probably never going to probably never going to find them again, you know. It really is too bad that we've got the garbage uh We've got garbage heat chinking on this. Is this going to be any better? We've only got one prototype double heat sink. It's not going to be any better, is it? That's 11 difference. Whereas this... is 10. So it's better without it. These really only shine when you've got, like, massive amounts of energy weapons. And you've got a lot of um, prototype double heat sinks. Okay, uh, is there anything else we could add that would reduce or increase damage? Battle fist. We don't recoil's not really doing anything. Compact actuators for the arm reduces accuracy. We don't, we don't want that. Peel and stick armor, self repair. Eight armor to the location. 0.1 tons? Really? That light? Really? Repairs two armor installed location. I guess we could put it in the arm to make sure that it uh, doesn't get taken off. Well, they help out anyway. Yeah, I mean, sure. I mean, we could switch out the medium improved heavy for a uh, ER medium for now, too. It's the same weight. We drop our heat. Doing 10, 10 points damage less, but our heat's perfect. Which means we get to fire a lot more, which means in the long run we're doing a lot more damage. In the long run, theoretically. We can't add any more jump jets. We can max out the armor, though. That leaves us about half a ton left, which I don't know what we would do. Don't know what we would do. Wish I had a tag or something we could throw in. Eight 
AMS is half a ton. We don't have half a ton of AMS ammo, do we? We do. So, I mean, we could put it back to where we were. Like, we could go this route. Take that out. Go back to here. And then put in half ton of AMS ammo there. And then our AMS, which will have to go in the CT, which means we got to move one of the jump jets, which I don't like them being unequal, but what can you do? That's probably better to load it too. That'll give us a bit more survivability, I think. All right, I think we go that road. I think that's actually a winner for me. For now, we'll see how we do in the next matchup. But yeah, it's nine days, 117. Sure. Logged and All right, well, I know this was a long episode, but I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And you can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.